So we are at the Baltimore Cemetery, which was established in, uh, I believe, 1850. Here in East Baltimore. This cemetery was actually created for the working class and blue collar workers. So excuse the traffic noise, we are close to traffic. I hope you can hear me. I do have my mic on and hopefully the wind is not drowning me out. But yeah, this cemetery was created for the blue collar working class. You could buy an eight by, I believe an eight by 10 plot, which would put four plots in for around 10 to $15 at the time. And it is an elevated cemetery, so in the background you're going to see Baltimore City skyline. It's over a hundred acres, as you can see by the pics. At the end of this video, I will be putting many pics. This is, again, like I said, 100 acre plus cemetery. And while the cemetery is neatly maintained, you're still going to have signs of slight neglect, but what are you to do? This is an old cemetery. Things fall, things lean, and this is an elevated cemetery. Very interesting. Very interesting cemetery. Beautiful. It's a beautiful cemetery. Beautiful day to walk to a cemetery, if I can say that. It's amazing. You could walk through this cemetery for hours if you're ever in Baltimore this is on East North I believe you can look it up I will put the links below but I am here with my son today we like doing this kind of thing we're gonna start doing this thing this kind of thing and I will be posting videos we're hoping that the next one will be Green Mount Cemetery in Baltimore which is I believe the burial place of the Booth family. There is one person that is buried here that I heard. Oh, I'm going to fall in a hole. That's not a good thing to do in a cemetery, is it? Try not to walk over someone's grave. But it's kind of hard to see because some stones are huge. Others are very low to the ground and some just have ground plaques. Like I said, it is maintained, the grass is cut, there is no garbage. But what you won't see is the fountains and the fancy stuff and the pretty gardens like some cemeteries have because this actually started out being a cemetery for, like I said, the working class, blue collar, lower middle class, for the people of the community, which used to be mostly German immigrants that worked in the many breweries that used to be here in Baltimore, there are still a few, but during Prohibition, they shut down the breweries, and most of the German population has since, of course, gone. Now, they said during the 1918 flu epidemic, up to 25 people a day were buried in this cemetery. So, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of 1918 deaths marked on stones however i have yet to see any but if you're taking a look around there's a lot to look at like looking at some of these stones gives you an idea and i hope i'm not walking on anybody's grave just how unstable this ground is because we've seen a lot of toppled stones, some replaced and put back up and stabilized with bricks. But there's a lot of them that have toppled. Or like I said, my shadow might be in this, so I apologize. But this is just one, looks like one family here where people at least buried together. 
and the stones are really all over the place here. Again, just some of the examples of the stones that have toppled a little bit, but it's still a beautiful cemetery. I think it would be beautiful to walk through here at night. See, I'm not afraid of walking through cemeteries at night because I'm not afraid of the dead. I'm more afraid of the living. Anybody else feel that way? I would love to walk through here, except for it's not the nicest part of Baltimore. Really isn't, I hate to say that. Sorry if I insult anybody, but it really isn't. It can be a little dangerous. You come through here, you come into the cemetery and mind your business. But I don't know about you, but I think it's beautiful. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. I've been walking a lot. I'm looking for the only notable that I know about now, I know there's more is Norman Cheney, who played Chubby on Our Gang, The Little Rascals. If anybody remembers that, I do. I watched The Little Rascals as a child. Oops, see, so got all kinds of gravestones here. And he is buried in this graveyard, this cemetery somewhere. And they didn't even have enough money to buy a headstone. So I believe, and I'll put underneath here, it was a was it a radio station in Detroit or somebody that raised money and they put an in-ground plaque for his mom and himself. And just a little history or a little information about Norman Cheney, who did play the part. Yes, he was a very, very fat child, but it was of no fault of his parents or himself he was later diagnosed with some sort of um, medical condition. And later on in his life, he did lose approximately 130 pounds. But I believe he died in his 40s, and I'm not sure. If I find that where he is, I will definitely show you. But it is here. And I will put a link below about that story. Another shot. We've hardly made a dent in this. son is posting some of his pictures and this is by far the largest holly tree I've ever seen I usually see them that are a lot smaller or spindlier that's beautiful this is pretty cool some beautiful beautiful stones monuments a little some are a little disrepair it looks like the head came off of that one up there something missing off of there but and we're gonna walk right down here to see what's in this is this a crypt a tomb or what it is okay after talking to the maintenance crew they led us to Norman Myers and his mother of course, Norman known as Chubby of our gang, the Little Rascals. I believe they got the stone, they said, in uh, was around, finally, uh, 2013. There is a whole story that goes with this that he told us. It's a nice, long story. But anyway, here he is. Glad that they finally got a stone. <laughs> 